Now, first of all, today I am going to explain about polymers for drug delivery system. Now, first of all, what is polymer? Now, polymers are the macromolecules, which are mainly made up of the smaller molecules. And this type of smaller molecules are called as monomer. And there are number of monomer units are undergoes into the process of polymerization and forms the polymer. Now, polymer itself says that poly means many and mer means parts. So it composed of many parts. Now, method of now move towards the method of preparation. Now there are mainly two types of the method of preparation for the polymer preparation. And as we all know, polymer can be formed by the pol simple polymerization process. Now there are mainly two types of the polymerization process. One is addition polymerization process. Second one is uh, condensation polymerization process. Now, in case of addition polymerization process, the monomers are subsequently added at the each step of the polymerization. Like monomer first converted into dimer, then trimer, then tetramer, and finally into the polymer. While in case of condensation polymerization process, all the monomer units are joined together and undergoes into the process of polymerization and forms the polymer. And they are mainly linked by intermolecular as well as the intramolecular forces. Now move towards the purpose of polymer. Why there will be a need of polymer in formulation point of view? Now because of mainly three reasons polymer are used in the formulation. First of all to increase the viability of drug, to achieve the targeted delivery of drug and to reduce the toxicity of drug. Now move towards types and classification of the polymer. Now polymer can be classified on, there are so many ways to classify the polymer. Like on the basis of source, we can classify natural polymer, semi-synthetic polymer as well as the synthetic polymer. While in case of polar, non-polar polymer are also be available on the basis of solubility. Apart from that, on the basis of tacticity. Now tacticity means geometrical rearrangement or the uh, orientation geometrical orientation of the molecule it is called as tacticity on the basis of tacticity polymer can also be classified into three ways isotactic syntactic isotactic syndiotactic and atactic polymer now move towards application of polymer why there will be a need of polymer in formulation what are the various application of the polymer in pharmacy now there are various applications of polymer in pharmacy. First of all, there are various doses forms available in the our pharmaceutical sciences. Now this doses form require modified release of drug, targeted delivery of drug. Apart from that, to reduce the toxicity of drug. Now this all can be achieved by the polymer. Now there are various delivery system to uh, which involve the polymer like hydrogel. Now hydrogel mainly polymeric three dimensional structure in which water soluble polymers are used. Whenever these water soluble polymers are came into the contact with water at that time it will absorb the water and due to that absorb the swelling will occur and due to that swelling the drug, drug release will be controlled. So, hydrogel type of the delivery systems are more prone for this kind of polymer. Apart from that, transdermal drug delivery system. Now, transdermal drug delivery system requires the polymer for the control release of drug. It also requires baking membrane of the uh, baking membrane, which will which will not allow to pass the drug from the back side. That's why it is mainly used. Apart from that, enteric coating type of the dosisome. Uh, it is most widely popular doses form. So, in case of enteric coating type of doses form, drug likes uh, erythromycin. Now, erythromycin is gas, uh, gastric acid resistant drug. Now, whenever it will come into the contact with gastric acid, it will get degraded. Now, to prevent this kind of drug into intestine, we have to formulate enteric coating type of the doses form. Now, apart from that, uh, Nano crystal, nano formulations, then uh, uh, nano crystal, nano formulation. Hello, friends.
friends welcome to formal learning series so today i am going to explain one case study regarding platelet excel now as we all know platelet excel is a anti cancer drug and the majority means it is a macromolecule macromolecular drug the molecular weight of this drug is very large melting point of this drug is also very large and it is highly lipophilic drug like the log p of this drug is more than 5 now this three property indicate the poor solubility of this drug because of the high lipophilicity the aqueous solubility of this this drug is very less now scientists were tried to increase the solubility of this platelet excel by using cremophore el now cremophore el is a polyethoxylated castor oil now it is a one type of surfactant to increase the solubility of this platelet excel now whenever this molecule means this formulation uh, went to the clinical trial at that time it shows that toxicity like hypersensitivity nephrotoxicity neurotoxicity now it was big challenge in front of scientists how to reduce this kind of toxicity because they achieved uh, their goal to enhance the solubility but uh, uh, by side toxicity would be increased now that's why scientists were tried to develop the dosage form in a such a way that they they got succeed in to succeed to reduce the toxicity of platelet excel now scientists were formulate three kind of dosage form like liposome nanosphere and polymeric micelle now in case of liposome now as we all know liposomes are the lipid bilayer bi vesicular system and due to that lipid lipid big drug delivery system whenever this kind of lipid de uh, delivery drug lipid based drug delivery system enter into the body at that time body's immune system recognize as an antigen because of it is lipid now because of that body's immune system engulfs this kind of liposomal delivery system and that's why viability of this liposome platelet excel is very less apart from that the main drawback related to the liposome it is mainly uptaken by the res system reticulo endothelial system and that's why the ultimate viability of platelet excel would be decrease now second one is nanosphere now scientists were also formulate this kind of nanosphere of platelet excel now but the main drawback with nanosphere is that the entrapment efficiency of platelet excel is very less as compared to the other uh, formulation that's why uh, it will not be feasible to deliver to reduce the toxicity because entrapment efficiency is very less now after all over the study scientists were confirmed to one conclusion that polymeric micelle is a best option to enhance the viability of platelet excel because polymeric micelle has higher entrapment efficiency and drug would be released according to the ph dependent profile that's why it is more success formulation in case of platelet excel uh, friends this was all about polymers for drug delivery system